hey beauties welcome to the channel I'm Jessica Yick from Jessing Things Up and today we are doing a cleanser review this is the rice water bright mild cleansing water aka missler water or micellar water depending on how you wish to pronounce it I kind of go back and forth not completely sure which way it's supposed to go but this is that I am trying a new setup right now I am trying to do this casting trick that I saw so hopefully the video quality it's gonna be like amaze balls. You guys know that I do love micellar water. I have used this one. I think this is like my third or fourth bottle of this. I have used this since it's come out. A lot of times in the morning, I'll just completely use a micellar water just to wash my face as opposed to doing the whole soapy thing, depending on how my skin is acting during that time period. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this first off as a first impression, trying it out. And then later on tonight, I'm going to try to use it to wash my face. More so in the sense to see how it takes off makeup on one side of my face and go from there so that's the plan hopefully I remember because I'm going back to dance tonight so what is this product itself this is from the face shop and actually my rice water bright foaming cleanser is my second most popular video if you haven't checked that one out yet click up here to watch it after the conclusion of this video but it is a mild no rinse cleanser that's formulated with minimal yet carefully selected ingredients to completely remove daily makeup and impurities while leaving your skin looking soft and radiant that is the claim from the website I haven't found a lot of information on this but all I know is it is a cleansing water and it is good for sensitive skin and the key ingredient in it is organic rice extract it's supposed to leave no sticky residue it's supposed to be a fragrance free product is free from parabens, phthalates, and sulfates, and also soap, also dermatologist tested. My skin has been reactive. It's actually doing a lot better now than it has been for the last couple of months. I was experiencing a lot of stress at the end of last year, and so now that things are kind of kind of calming down a bit and I'm sleeping so that's helping I figure you know I know the time like the present to try a new skincare product I like the fact that it has no fragrance in it because that can also uh, cause irritation and also that way it can be used for people who do have a scent sensitivity or a scent allergy so we're gonna find out how fragrance free this is in just a few According to the Avon website, it does it does say that it removes makeup impurities with micelles and there's no need to rinse off. Time to open this up. It is 500 ml, so it is quite large. It's significantly larger than the other one. I should do a head-to-head -head on this, but on another day. This is a more of a first impressions type of a video, but it is quite large. What they say to use is that you're just supposed to apply it to a cotton pad and wipe the face from the center outwards to remove the makeup. Alright, so we're going to do that part of it a little bit later on. I'm just going to wash off now my skincare from last night so let's do this I uh, hey some reusable cotton pads this is from Avon the the bed they're the bamboo fiber ones so let's open this up the way that this cap works it is a top cap like that not sealed let's smell I don't really smell much it's very watery as to be expected let's take my uh, little bamboo pad here put on some and let's wipe my face so I don't smell like a fragrance I smell a little bit of scent but it doesn't smell like a perfume which is quite nice I find that as I'm getting more and more mature the less I like scent in my products I'm, I'm kind of like one of those people who are in between I like some mild scent but I don't like things that are overpowering so the fact that this doesn't have any uh, have a perfumey smell I could definitely smell the product but it doesn't smell like it's added perfume does that make sense so it's not fragrance free there's just no added fragrance Yes, I think that's the way to put it. So we're gonna start off today. We're gonna go from the center and wipe out. And we're gonna see how it does. What I like about this is it also acts as a gentle exfoliator because of the pads too. I had a little bit of leftover makeup. So we're gonna wash that off. Ooh, it does work very well. Okay, okay, okay. I was in a rush last night showering. Not that that should be an excuse, but I oh, that's what I was. Let's just wait a sec. Face does not tingle, it does not sting, which is good. My eyes don't sting either. Does my skin feel clean? Yes. Does it feel like it's drying it out? No. I love the fact that this is really, really handy, but more on that a little bit later. Another thing that I wanted to add was that I did have some irritation from here. I did mention it in my last um, cleanser video. Even last night after I washed my face, I still felt a little bit of irritation. I used a different cleanser, which was the LX New Gel Cleanser, and I did feel a little bit of stinging. Right now, no stinging on this irritated part, so 
that's really great. Just a little side note. It's now been about four minutes since I used the micellar water. And I have to say, as of right now, I am impressed because I haven't done anything else on my skin yet because I was just <laughs> plucking my eyebrows. I'm just kind of cleaning up the, the little mess here. But I have to say, oh my gosh, my skin feels so soft. And it doesn't feel taut, like drying out that tightness feeling that we do not love. So I'm a happy camper right now. For real now. See you in a few hours. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I might be back again. Hi, I'm back. So it's the end of the night. It's close to 10 p.m. I've had my makeup on for, no, I think over 12 hours. Anyways, uh, I just finished teaching for two and a half hours. So, I mean, my face is a bit of a mess. Um, I'm sweaty, but we are still going to see how well this takes off makeup. What I read was to, in order to take off eye makeup, what you do is you apply it on the pad and then you leave it there for like a few minutes before wiping it off. So I guess that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do just this one side of my face and then I'm going to go shower and use my just regular face wash on the other side. And so we can kind of see the difference of how well this does. Now also note this eye here, I did actually use an eyelash primer because I did film another video today. So eyelash primer on my right eye, no eyelash primer on my left eye. So I'm hoping that this will help take off the eyelash primer as well. But we're going to find out. So let's get right to it. I'm going to soak this baby herb. This one I didn't get from Avon. This one I got from Amazon. All right, so I'm just gonna wipe here. So I probably just sweat off the majority of my foundation. But I did more of a concealer type of foundation as opposed to a full fledged foundation. There's that. And we're going to apply it to my eye next. And they say the same thing with the lip. Like if you're wearing a uh, long lasting lip makeup, uh, lip stick, to do the same thing, apply, uh, leave it on your lips for a few minutes, and then go. All right, so I actually, here, here's my eye makeup first. I use the Glimmer Shadow. Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. Um, yeah, Glimmer Shadow eyeshadow, and then I used the Cashmere Primer on the side, and also the Cashmere Mascara. I feel a bit like a pirate. Alright, it's been about a minute. Let's see. Ooh. Alright, that, ooh, that came off quite well, actually. I'm trying to be gentle. I feel like it's gonna take a little bit more work. For the mascara because I have mascara and primer on. Oops. Yeah, there's definitely still product on there. Oh, hey, that's pretty good. Still a bit left, but well, I think I got the majority of it off actually. So this is the makeup off on the one side. This is still the makeup on on this side. I'm going to go shower now and see if it makes a difference with how much mascara there's still left. Taking some off or not taking some off. I don't know how to wear this properly because I am so tired right now. But we'll be right back. Let's take a look. So this is the side that I used the micellar water on and this is the side that I didn't. So you can tell right away that it did definitely help. It made a big difference um, because there is a little bit of remnants here and a little bit on my eyes. My lashes there. Although we might still get some tomorrow because I see a little bit here. So I think overall it does help especially with the shadow uh, but also keep in mind once again I did use primer on this one side so there's definitely another layer there. It will obviously help because it is essentially like you're doing a double cleanse but i love the fact that it didn't burn or stick my eyes at all so all in all i think this is a really great product it, it is a giant bottle of it and I, I guess like the whole rice water bright branding is that it is giant do you remember my like uh the face wash rice water bright foaming uh, face wash it was also giant so it's like go big or go home. Well, I am home. I think it is a really good product. I would definitely reuse this product. Now, if you want me to compare this one with the Hydrofusion one from Avon, leave a comment and we could definitely make that happen. The other thing is when I was first washing my face, because this side I already cleaned it and this with the micellar water and this side I didn't yet, I could feel the texture difference. Like this definitely side definitely felt a lot cleaner. 
<laughs> like squeaky clean because it didn't have any of the sweat it didn't have any of my creams on anymore so it does do a very very I think thorough job of cleaning um, with with for full face makeup would I just use this and nothing else no I would probably use this as part of a double cleansing system that's just me personally all right, so that's it for this video, guys. If you have any questions about this product or if you want to learn more, make sure you go to the link in the description box below. And if you want to see how this one compares with our Hydrofusion Micellar Water, make sure you do drop a comment and we'll see if we can make that happen. If you're brand new here, make sure you come around, visit again, click that subscribe button as well as the little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. And until next time, guys, stay well, stay safe, and stay fantastically kind. I love you.